Hello there, my name is Mihai and I am part of the development team here at Kitask. In this video I am going to show you how you can install uh, custom plugins in Intox Studio. Because Intox Studio is based on uh, IntelliJ IDEA framework, it's easy to extend it with your own plugins or to install other plugins from the IntelliJ repository. So in order to uh, install custom plugins, you have to navigate to Files, Settings and choose the Plugins section under the Settings. This part here shows you which plugins you currently have installed and in order to install new plugins you just have to go to browse repositories. We offer our own Kitask repository and for the moment we just have two custom plugins that you can use, either Emacs or uh, Vim which will enable a special editor mode. For example, if you know the Vim editor and want to include it in your Intact Studio, you can just install this plugin, close it apply the settings and you have to restart the platform in order to enable the plugin. So I'll just go ahead, restart it. And now um, I have Vim enabled as a plugin. And for example, if I um, just open a file and want to edit it, you see already the cursor looks a bit different. So it's Vim enabled. So if I want to start typing here, I'll press I and Go ahead, uh, type what I need at the end. I exit to the command mode, press WQ. So it's just basic Vim, okay? If you don't want your plugin anymore, you can either disable it by going to settings again and uncheck the checkbox for the editor or either you can uninstall it. The thing is whenever you install, uninstall, enable, disable plugins, we have to restart the platform. As I said, you can also implement your own custom plugins that are uh, compatible uh, with uh, IntelliJ um, or you can choose from the ones that are already offered. I think there are oh, thousands um, of them. So let's assume in our project we would have a readme in the form of Markdown. So let me just create a readme file in the Markdown format. Of course, for the moment, uh, Intact Studio doesn't recognize this file extension, so I'll just choose text for the moment. And if I start typing in Markdown syntax like header one, subheader, you just see it, it doesn't highlight it, it doesn't offer you um, any special support. So there is already uh, a plugin that's offered from IntelliJ. So I'll just go and search on the plugins website from IntelliJ. In Google, I type IntelliJ plugins, choose the JetBrain uh, repository and make sure to choose from the community edition of IntelliJ IDEA. You see there are over 2,500 plugins available and I'm interested in Markdown. So I search for Markdown. Markdown support by JetBrains, for example, okay. Here you see um, the versions that are available and now we have to see which version we need that will uh, fit to our platform. So in order to do this, I go back to Intact Studio and under help about, I see here the build number from the IntelliJ Community Edition. So it's 173412727. So I have to make sure to choose the corresponding version here. So it would be this one. So it's from September 2017. I'll just download this one. Save it. And now I have to install it. So we go back to File, Settings and Plugins. And I can choose Install Plugin from Disk. It's in my home folder and press OK. It added it to the active plugins list. I apply OK and then I have to restart the platform. OK. After we restart, we see that IntelliJ already recognized this MD file as markdown and we have uh, syntax highlighting and depending on the plugin, better support rather than a simple text editor. So I told you the version uh, is pretty important. Um, so the plugin has to be compatible with the underlying uh, platform version, but don't worry. If you, for example, choose the wrong version, so let's download the latest version, for example, 
which won't be compatible with the current platform. Um, if I go back to settings plugins and I try to install a version that's not compatible with my platform, we will receive an error. So we immediately see, okay, there's something wrong. I, I chose the wrong version. So I have to check again to make sure that the versions match. Okay, guys. So this is how you add your um, own custom plugins to Intax Studio. I hope um, this was helpful to you. See you next time. Thank you.